Hey, welcome back, I'm Matt Forty Forty. This tech on talk about ThinkCast. In the ThinkCast, we talk about business, we talk about technology, we talk about psychology, and most importantly, we talk about the instrument. We talk about how. And today, I'm going to talk about the business strategy. Business strategy, and I would recommend that that you read the book. You read the book. The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu was a great Chinese warrior, and he has written this book, The Art of War. Okay, and this book is very much streamlined with the business strategy. In business, you have competitor. In business, you have market. You have consumer. You have. Uh, you are dealing with. Uh, a very difficult, uh, volatile conditions, right? Competitor is ready to ready to take your market. Then what to do, right? So I would recommend you read the book, the Art of War by Sun Tzu. And I give a salt example. Sun Tzu says that war. can be went through the deception. I repeat, war can be went through the deception. What does that mean? This means that if you want to win the war, let's not attack your enemy from the front. Attack your enemy from the back. Attack your enemy the time he is not ready. Deception means that. And same thing is in the business. If you want to defeat your competitor, don't attack him from the front. Because if you attack the competitor from the front, he will be ready to answer. You've got to find the way, the deception way to attack your competitor. Let's not your competitor understand your, strat your strategy. Let's, let's, let's your competitor feel that you are maybe stupid. Let's your competitor assume that you are weak. Right, because if he assumes that you are weak, it means that he would be less worried about you. He will prepare less, right? And if he prepare less, that means he would perform less, right? And that's what the sense says that war can be won through deception. So read this book. I give another example. You know what happens? Once I went in a meeting, a big meeting with a client, and there's a Chinese client. There are a few Chinese guys, Chinese guys, right? And and they and during that meeting, they said that their boss, who is the CEO of the company, he doesn't speak English. Right? We are in the meeting, and he said he will use a translator talk with us in, 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 in English, right? We were talking, we explained him, he talked in Chinese, he, we asked him a few questions, then interpreter, translator, he translated for him in Chinese, then he answered in Chinese, uh, translator translated in English, and then we, 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 uh, we, 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 then we communicated, right, right. But later, we discover that that guy, that Chinese guy, he could speak English perfectly well. He could understand English perfectly well. But he used that tactic, tactics, tactic to, to, to have that communication, to, to observe the situation and then answer, right? Probably he would have spoken in English. Probably he would have used the English by showing that, hey, listen, I'm at the same level. I too speak good English. But he didn't do that. 
he used the language barrier as a deception. So remember, business is the war. You win your competitor through deception, not better attack. Read the book, The Art of War by Sun Chu. Thank you.